good morning students i welcome you to my third lecture on kushwan singh's the portrait of a lady today i present you an overview of the story in my previous class i had mentioned about the author and his writing style so today let us have a brief introduction to the story the story is a semi autobiographical account which is based on the author's recollection of his grandmother here he tries to provide a pen picture of the lady that is his grandmother the story focuses on the qualities the strength of mind the nobility of character of the grandmother that makes her stand out from the crowd the author's relationship is also being projected how there was a change in the relationship between him and his grandmother however the emotional bonding remained intact kushwan singh's grandmother like everybody else's grandmother loved her grandchildren at times she would tell them stories some of these being her personal memories the games she used to play as a child however the children laughed at them considering them to be mere stories in the first paragraph the author provides a brief description of his grandmother he presents her as a very old lady who was a widow she was not physically attractive was short fat and slightly bent and she walked with a limp wrinkles and fine lines covered the best part of her face her silvery locks scattered untidily over her face one hand supported her waist whereas the other hand kept busy counting upon the beads of rosary she was always dressed in white clean clothes and was practically a very peaceful lady the author discusses his relationship with his granny his granny who played a very significant role in his life he does it by describing three stages of relationship the first in the village the second in the city and the third when he started going to the university in the village the author was left to the care of his grandmother and as such there was a very close bonding between the grandmother and the grandson they were more like close friends than anything else the shift to the city served as a turning point where their friendship started weakening gradually and when by the time the author reached university level that friendship existed no more the grandmother was isolated and secluded from the life of her grandson however here we must note the strength of the old woman's character her mind she was able to accept that seclusion with firm determination without breaking down she waited 5 years when the author went to abroad 
to pursue his higher studies but soon after his return she passed away leaving a complete void in the life of the author and his family kushwan singh has very beautifully described her grand his grandmother in a bright light projecting all those fine noble human qualities that makes her truly a lady so dear students we will get to see more of the story as we go through the paragraph wise explanation and till then i would like you to go through the lesson once thank you for being